Hi, everybody. Hey, I'm going to wait for you guys to jump on. Say hi. Hey, this is Kim, and I vlog at Savage Living, but today I'm hanging out with the Maker Studio. I love the Maker Studio. I love their um, products and the projects you can make with them, and so it is nothing but an honor to hang out here and show you guys um, some of my ideas. You may have caught a couple of my last videos, and oh, I need to think of something. And so I hope so. I hope you did. Um, I think we've got tons of good ideas coming your way on um, this page. So stay tuned and make sure you follow. I'd love to have you follow over on my Facebook page or Instagram or the blog, but I'm going to get started today. And this is actually a really, really, really simple project that you could do. Um, I think it's more the meaning and the story behind it that means something to me. And so I hope you'll kind of indulge me as I just tell you a little bit um, especially for you guys that don't know me um, or follow me, it's kind of a little maybe too in my, in TMI. I don't know too much information, but I hope not. And I think this is a cute idea that you could do on a larger scale with different stencils or a smaller scale. And I'm going to give you a couple ideas on how to really make it yours. So stick with me because I have ideas and we're having a giveaway. So if you are interested in winning the stencil I am using today, you're going to want to make sure and share this video with a friend or on your whatever, share it. And then you need to tell me in the comments that you did that. Come back and say, sprinkle, whatever, whatever word you wanna use. So today I'm using this um, cutie patootie little stencil. It's called Fresh Start. And I love it because it comes with four different things, but I also want you to remember you can mix and match little parts and pieces, like this little lemon, orange wedge, whatever you want to be, call it, would be cute, you know, on to mix and match with different words, different things like that. You can use part of the stencil or all the stencil, all the different ways. So it's four stencils, but really it's kind of unlimited potential. Um, and I think that's a good way to look at a lot of these mesh stencils that Maker Studio has is you can use all the little parts and pieces. You can mix and match and really make them your own. So what I'm going to do today is going to just a little bitty just a tweak, just a little update to a picture frame. This is actually one I've had in my house, so stick with me while I clean it up because you could thrift this, you could pull one out of the closet like I did, buy one if you really want to. They even have some cute picture frames at the dollar store. So I'm just gonna clean the glass really well and I'm gonna give you a little bit of the story behind this. So if you've been following me at all, you would know this has been a really, really rough year. This last year has been a horrid year for me. I went through a divorce a few months ago. It just got complete. Very um, not wanted, wasn't expecting it, that kind of thing. So it's just been a really hard year, and I have three children. And we are just kind of navigating this new normal, you know. And what I'll say is that God is good. I believe he is with us and um, has us on a path that... That he's okay with and so I need to be okay with it too even though a lot of days I'm not but one of the things that really spoke to me was this stencil um, that says you were given this life because you're strong enough to live it you guys I don't know what kind of encouragement you need today or on the daily but I know that that spoke to me because there's so many days I feel ill-equipped um, to do the task at hand and the job um, of raising these kids and um, being a single mom and doing all this stuff is, is just hard. It's nothing I would have expected. It's nothing I would have asked for. Never saw it coming. And I would guess that some of you guys have stuff like that in your life. And so if you do, this just might be a little project for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm cleaning this little... And if we have time, I'm going to show you another project to do with this stencil. But it, if not, I'll at the very least, I'll tell you about it. So I'm just cleaning up my little frame. You could easily paint this frame. I have some one-step paint. I was thinking about painting this frame white, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it black. But this would be a great project to use one of the one-step paints on. The colors are so pretty. And if you have an old frame or you find one that in a thrift store or a garage sale that's like a great shape, good size, has pretty details, but maybe it's purple and you don't have purple in your house or, you know, whatever, don't forget you can paint those frames. If you have old frames that you just don't have out anymore, or maybe you have them out and they need a touch of love and just an update, paint is your BFF, y'all. Paint does the trick. 
And the one step paint is great. You could paint this, you could distress it to give it a little worn feel. Um, you could make it solid if you wanted to. Whatever floats your boat is up to you. So this is cleaned up. I'm really gonna be working with this glass and I really need to rearrange. You guys, sorry. I want this little piece of cardboard underneath me because I'm kind of messy sometimes. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna give you a couple ideas here. But what I wanna do is take my little stencil and then you can cut these apart. All right, you guys? So you could leave them all intact if you wanted to. But remember, I'm using the Fresh Start stencil. It has a bunch of little fresh starts. I know it's backwards. I'm really sorry about that. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. And maybe it looks backwards to me, I don't know. In a world where you can be anything, be kind, hello. We should all tattoo that on our foreheads. Um, your only limit is you. That's very, very true, and it's very, very hard. I don't know if y'all know that. And then I'm going to use the one that says you were given this life because you're strong enough to live it. Because, sister, I need the reminder on the daily that this is true. And really, I'm not strong enough to, to, to live it, but I'm strong enough to do it with God. And i got to remember all the time, give him the glory. He is the reasoning I'm standing and not a totally off my rocker at this point in the game. Because... I think I don't understand how people go through all the hard things without him um, and the security that he alone offers. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these all up just so I have them ready for whenever I want to use them. And here's a tip. If you want to use this and just like maybe you just use the be kind, if you use just some painter's tape, you can paint, you could tape over the words and the parts and pieces that you don't want to do. Or if you're going to do different colors, you could co cover it up so that you don't mess up your design. And that's a great tip. So what I'm going to do is I am taking the glass out of my picture frame. And I'm just going to take this little stencil. And I'm going to go right on top. Now you could go to the bottom. You could go to the top. You go to the side. You could go, you know, whatever the layout is that you're looking for. Just kind of play around with it. I am going pretty much in the middle. I eyeball everything. It's probably not a best practice, but it's what I do. So, sorry. I need some glasses. I can not see. All right, you guys. So, here we go. And here's the thing. If you get it on there and it's not centered and you don't like it or it's crooked, you can redo it, which is the beautiful thing about removable stencils. Remember, these are mesh stencils. So, you're going to get a really intricate, really fine um, stencil. It's not going to be like the thing where it's a mess and it bleeds and all the things. You can do this in different colors. You can do it all in one color. But what I wanted to do, I had new family pictures made. It was just something that I needed to do for my family. Um, I needed some fresh memories and some things like that. And I don't know which one I'm going to use yet, but these are my little two of them I had printed from our little photo shoot. Look at the little, little kids. Aren't they cute? Um, I love them. But anyway, I don't know which one I'm going to use. I kind of think I'm going to use this one because it's kind of like a path going off into new, new, new beginnings um, and fresh start, just like, this, just like this kit, fresh start. And we didn't tell the photographer to do that. She just did it, and I just really love that. So anyway, I'm going to use this with one of these. And this picture frame is for me. It is for me. I think I'm going to put it by my bed or either in my bathroom where I look at it every morning because, you guys, you cannot ever surround yourself enough with enough memories, enough um, encouragement and you never know when you're going to need it and you never know when it's just going to speak to you. So what I'm going to do is use the ceramic paint on this. Now you have choices here. Let me back up. You have choices. You can use a chalk art on this project or you can use a ceramic paint on this. Chalk art would be a non-permanent solution. So if you just want to do this for a little while, if you wanted to try this and not really have the same kind of meaning as I do, but maybe you wanted to use some of the holiday stencils over holiday prints or whatever, you could do that and then this would wash off and you could repeat it and change it and mix it up as much as you wanted to. I'm going for the permanent option. So I'm using a ceramic paint and I'm just going to put that in my little palette. You probably could go straight on top of it, especially because I'm only going to do one color. I definitely think this suits itself for multicolors, but it, I've got enough going on. I don't want to use a bunch of colors. Ceramic paints are um, non-bakeable. Non-bakeable. Is that a word? Bakeable? No, you don't have to bake them. How's that? I don't know. They come in a lot of different colors. These are beautiful greens. 
I have a silver metallic. I love this one. It's called Hot and Spicy. And um, I have two of the green ones with me. But anyway, so the ceramics are really pretty to do on glass or pottery, um, mugs, plates, different things like that for a permanent non-bake, meaning you don't have to bake it to set it, um, solution for your ceramic projects. Okay, you guys, so that's kind of what I was trying to say. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna use one of these little brushes. These are Maker Studio brushes. These are so handy. Now, you can squeegee or you can brush. Sometimes I do a mix of both, so I'm gonna show you that. I'm just gonna get this and I'm gonna just spread my ceramic on here. Just making sure I get it through the mesh. You don't have to press hard or anything like that. This is pretty easy to do, but I sometimes do after I spread with this, I will go back and kind of push it through a little bit with a squeegee just to get, make sure that I'm getting, you know, the paint where it needs to be. The concept's the same no matter what paint you're using. If you're using the chalk paint, the gel art ink, or the ceramic paints, you're kind of doing the same thing. So let me just show you. Here's a little squeegee. I love these. this new squeegee set. Come, you can buy the set. It comes with a pen. It comes with this shape. It comes with this one. Actually, I'm going to use this one. This is perfect. So literally, this is going to be basically like one swipe down the stencil. And it just makes sure that you get that ink where you need it and want it. Okay? And then you can offload that ink and you still have more to do another project with. So this is, like I said, it's a super simple project. I'm going to give you another idea on how to do that, what to do with this though, so stick with me. I'm just going to peel it off. Oh, so cute. Now you're going to want to immediately wash your stencil. Okay, that's the key to these, to keeping your stencils. Um, I say keeping them healthy is to go drop this in a bucket of water, which I should have with me, but I don't, or in the sink. I just lightly like lay it in the sink and I just rub over it with my hand, or sometimes I'll use a little bit of a um, washcloth or a sponge that's like a stiff sponge, not pressing too hard, but just, just to go over it with a little um, soap. And you'll see, you wanna just make sure you get the paint off the stencil part. And by that, I mean the mesh part in the middle. Sometimes your stencil will stain on the outside, but as long as you have it off of the little mesh part, you're good to go. All right, let's talk about how simple this is. Hello, can you, let me see, hold on. Let's do this. So you can really see it. You can see how clean and clear and crisp that came out on there. And I just wanted it to be an overlay on my picture. A beautiful reminder, it's not, going to be the kind of um, photograph that is showing off the photograph as much, much blah, 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 I can't talk today as much as it is like more of an inspirational piece if that makes sense so let me just put this together and show you you need to let your ceramics dry overnight you guys that's going to be the key You don't have to bake it. You don't have to do anything. So, you know what? I think I probably should have overlaid it and tried it with the, um, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, you can vote. You guys tell me. So, this is kind of like, I think I should have put the stencil up at the top where the trees are. And then you would have seen a little bit more of the family. And I think it's kind of hard for you to read on this, on the camera. But in person, I can read it. Let me try this different picture. And you know, you might just play around with this if you do an overlay like this. But once again, like I said, this is not supposed to be so I can show this picture off. It's just a reminder that, hey, Kim, you know what? These are your babies and they're yours for a reason. This life is yours for a reason. You are strong enough, you can do it. And every day is a fresh day. Even if yesterday was hard and horrible, today doesn't have to be. I just think we all need reminders like that. Or at least I do. Maybe I'm alone. You guys tell me. I don't know. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to just try this other picture in here. That's why I grabbed a couple. I wasn't really sure which one was going to be best. Yeah, I like this one better, actually. 
All right, so that's cute. Those little faces are peeking up, peeking over the words. And that's just my sweet people. And it's just reminding me that I am enough to be their mom because God made me their mom. That's how he picked me to be. And so I'm going to keep on trucking and keep on doing it and showing up for them. And you know what? Whatever life is throwing at you, you're strong enough for it too. And you can do it too. So I think this is just a sweet reminder. I'm going to have, a, I'm going to do another, one more project really quick since we have a few minutes. Um, let's stick this right here. Cute, cute. All right. So just a coffee mug. Who doesn't love a coffee mug? Because not only do I need a reminder to get going in the morning, this mama needs coffee. And that's me being super honest with you. So I thought what I would want to do is, um, this every day is a fresh start. And I kind of, I kind of like, obviously you could just do this as is, or you could hide this little lemon wedge, orange wedge, and do the words. And then you could take this wedge and put it on each side. I think that's kind of cute. Like frame it on each side with the little wedge, you know, do the wedges sideways. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do this, but I really just wanna show you how simple and easy it is to use these. And this one I'm gonna do in a couple of colors and I'm just gonna wipe it off. You wanna make sure you have a clean surface just so, you know, the paint sticks. Cause if, if the surface is dirty and it's dirt, then you're gonna have a, maybe your paint's not gonna stick in the dirty spots. So just make sure you have a good clean surface. Then we're gonna dry it. I'm gonna use So much fun. I love picking this stuff out. I think I'm going to actually do dark chocolate latte and this hot and spicy because I've been dying to use the hot and spicy. I love that color. That orange is just cheerful. And in the morning, who doesn't need a good cheer? Good cheer. Good cheerful morning. All right. So we're going to take this. You got to decide where you want it. Do you want it like out when you're doing it? You want to be looking at it when you drink it? Do you want it this way? You know, decide where you want your your cup. I think I want mine out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set this here. Stick it right on the mug and just start. I always like start in the middle and then press out so that I can get no bubbles. And this is harder when you have this curved kind of surface. So you kind of have to work with it just to get it laid down the way you want it. So take your time and get it laid out straight before you go to painting. You don't want it to have, this is not something that you want to have a bunch of wrinkles in just because it, you do want those crisp lines where you can, you know, read the words very clearly. So I'm going to make sure my word parts are wrinkle free. Part of it's going to have wrinkles, but just make sure the part that you're actually going to be painting on is good. And you can relift it and re-situate it until you get it right. So then hold it back, you know, make sure that it's where you want it to be. This is what I love about these little uh, bundles, I guess, if you want to call them. It's not a bundle at all. It comes in one stencil, but you have so many options and you can do, you know, something personal. You can do something fun. You just have a variety of options on your projects. So I'm going to use again, one of these little paint brushes, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint on top of the words with this, uh, dark chocolate latte. I just think it's kind of a little softer. It's brown, but it's a little softer than just dark black. So I thought that would be a sweet color. And then I have actually been really in love with this new blood orange tea that I found. It's really yummy. So it kind of seems like the, I think that's what made me think of doing an orange on a coffee mug because it might seem a little counterintuitive, but if you like flavored tea, blood orange is yummy. And there's this, it's a Trader Joe's. It was a really good one. I liked it. So you might try it. This is also a cute gift. Great for stocking stuffers, teacher's gifts. 
just a pick me up if you need, you know, need to give someone a little, hey, I'm thinking of you today. You could give it with a Starbucks gift card in it. You could give it with a little tea bundle. I mean, really, how cute, 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 cute would this be? Alrighty, I'm not gonna squeegee this one. So here we go. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're gonna let this dry overnight and then we have the most precious coffee mug. How cute is that you guys? I love it. Everybody loves a fun coffee mug and it's just so sweet and you made it. It makes you feel good. So literally that was like maybe 20 minutes and I did two projects. You can like totally whip out some amazing projects with these stencils. They're so so easy to use. So make sure for this kind of projects what you are gonna need is some of the ceramic paints. They're gonna work really awesome for you. And then you need the Fresh Start Bundle, which has, like I showed you guys, four different stencils. The two that I used, plus two more, so you have a ton of variety and options that you can mix and match and have so much fun with. Um, again, I just thank you for hanging out with me and, and listening to my little story. My name is Kim. I blog at Salvage Living. I'd love to have you um, join me. I have a, a salvage society where I do like thrifting and stuff like that. I have salvage delivery mercantile where I have clothes and jewelry and just fun stuff. And of course the blog where I do easy DIY and home decor for a life and home redeemed. So you guys join me and make sure to you get your stuff and show us what you make. Don't forget to share so you can be entered to win a giveaway. And I look forward to crafting with you guys again soon. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.